Hey, thanks a lot. CBS 42 is your local election headquarters. Less than 90 days now before Alabama voters head to the polls for that June 5th primary, the race for governor. It's a crowded field. Five Republican candidates, five Democratic candidates. This morning, a closer look at Democratic candidate James Fields. He joins us in our Good studios morning. this morning. Good to have you here with yes, us. Sir. You were one of those early entrants into the campaign announcing last September that you Correct. were running for governor. What led to that decision? Uh, from the past four years, just watching what Alabama, the citizens of Alabama were going through, and we felt that uh, Alabama wants to move forward and we need some true leadership and just kept praying about it. And um, my heart has always been in service uh, to others and uh, serving a church for 17 years as a pastor and then working in the World Methodist Church gave me a rounded view of how things should be and how we should treat people. Some people thought Lieutenant Governor was the race that you're going to get into. Yeah, yeah. they thought I was going to get into the Lieutenant Governor's race, and I don't know why they thought that. There was never a conversation with James Fields concerning what he would do. Even though I was the Democrat nominee for 2014 election against the sitting governor now, um, I, I thought about that and thought about that and thought about that, mm -hmm. but um, it was always entered into my mind, if you're going to lead, you need to be in a position where you can truly lead Alabama to a better and brighter future. Yeah, I guess they may have thought about that. You were a lieutenant governor candidate in 2014, 14, yeah. and you're no stranger to politics. No. was in the House of Representatives before as Correct. well. A couple of challenges. Some people look at this saying, there's a couple of challenges for you in this deeply red state. No Democrat has been governor for a while. Mm -hmm. And then now, also the fact that you're African American, so you got a couple of things going against you. How do Correct. you get past those challenges? What do you say to people about that? Well, you know, James Fields is a native of Coleman County, uh, and people said the same thing back then uh, when I ran for the House seat. That uh, how is James Fields going to get past the color barrier? How is James Fields going to get past the fact that he's a Democrat and he lives in a county that's 98 percent Republican and 99.9 .9 percent white? How is he going to do that? I think people don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's what we've always uh, patterned our life after. And we are the change that people are seeking. Um, and so we believe in change. And there are the young people, the millennials, the I generation, they're not looking at the color of a person's skin. They're looking at someone who can truly lead them, a person whose record is above reproach. Uh, the integrity level is there. I have always been a perfect person, no, but I've always prided myself on reaching out and touching others' lives to make it better. As you do that, what are the key issues for you in this race? The key issues is Medicaid, of course, education, for sure, because uh, I'm a public, public education advocate. I just, uh, it did well by me uh, and, um, and a lot of my friends. And then the next thing is infrastructure and moving Alabama forward, we got to do something about our infrastructure. You know, it's, you get on I-65 or 280, it's like a parking lot, no matter what time you get on it. And so there are some things we can do to uh, move people across our state. And we need to keep young people in Alabama. They're, they're educated here, and then they find jobs in Atlanta, Nashville, and Memphis, and Florida. We want them to stay home. And we so, want to find out also the issue that's been uh, really dominating the governor's race is the lottery. Yes yeah. or no, are you for it? We can talk about it deeper later. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I'm for the education lottery. I believe that uh, the people of Alabama want to vote on it, mm -hmm. and so this will be one governor to make sure that they have a clean bill to vote on. Okay. I'm not going to sit around and wait for legislators to pass a bill. All right, we want to explore it some more. We're going to be talking with James Field okay. in a Facebook Live session at 7 o'clock, and you can go ahead and get your questions ready so you can ask him more questions, and we'll talk more, find out more about this yes. candidate, Democratic candidate for governor. Now.